stick Gotta the show up sometime. <laughs> Get in my way and you go first. We're gonna find you. <laughs> Back the way you came. Now. Could have sworn I heard something. You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall. You answer to me. Let's walk away, friend. 
while you can. Y'all need to get down here right away. If any of y'all got the time, we got a call about a homicide in the hollow. Dispatch out. Show later. Maybe tomorrow. after I'm done here. Definitely. All right. Unless, you know, tomorrow, man. I'm not. That man is right. awful in this. Yeah. You really doing this? Hot? Stay in line. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty five, fifty. Mm. How about you slip me some favors for this here party, Five, huh? Cash straight 15, up. 20, Ain't no fucking dying storm. Okay, mm. don't make me wait. Do not fucking move. 20, 25, 30, 30. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Damn it, lost count. Stop moving around. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Damn it, lost count. Do not fucking move. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Damn it, lost count. Thirty, thirty-five. Stop moving around. 
Listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Noise was. Don't step too close. That shit will swallow your soul. That's the sound of hell right there, boy. Stay clear of it. Y'all settled on a name yet? I was thinking about Thomas Lee after my old man. Nah, he's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. Nah, I won't come to that. Boys will take care of it. You'll see. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good.
Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. And then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers.